Kupanda kwa gharama ya kawi na uchukuzi na hata vyakula kunaendelea kuhangaisha familia nyingi humu nchini. Kwa mfano bei ya sukari ilipanda mara moja baada ya mamlaka ya kilimo kuagiza kampuni zote za sukari zifungwe katika eneo la Magharibi ili kuzuia kuvuno kwa miwa ambayo haijakomaa. Hali hiyo imesababisha uagizaji wa sukari kutoka Urusi na kuwatia wasiwasi wawekezaji katika sekta hiyo. Bubekezaji pia wana wasiwasi kuhusu uagizaji wa bidhaa kutoka mataifa jirani na kuifanya Kenya sasa ionekane nchi ya kutegemea uagizaji wa bidhaa kutoka mataifa mengine. Miaka michache iliyopita taswira ilikuwa hii katika mpaka wa Kenya na Tanzania ambapo bidhaa zilikuwa zikitolewa kutoka Kenya na kupelekwa Tanzania. Lakini sasa mambo ni kinyume chake. Border of Kenya Tanzania many of the goods that are used in Tanzania from toothpaste to soap to some of the basic necessities were all coming from Kenya. Today because my business is located on the highway to Tanzania it's the opposite. We have a large inflow of trucks bringing in goods. Everything from vegetables to fruits Bilo Kero ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa viwanda vya Danford amesema taswira hiyo imechangiwa na gharama kubwa kwa kampuni kuhudumu hapa nchini. The cost of energy, um, cost of power. Muungano wa sekta ya kibinafsi nao una wasiwasi kuhusu ukosefu wa sera bora ya ushuru na utoaji wa leseni. Afisa mkuu mtendaji wa Kepsa Carol Kariuki amesema kuwa kampuni nyingi zinalazimika kupata zaidi ya leseni 20 ili kuhudumu the trade sector which is the supermarkets and all that have about 26 licenses to be able to comply with the tourism sector has 31 and if we go from sector to sector you can imagine you know it makes it very hard waziri wa fedha njugu na ndungu meitetea serikali na kusema kuwa juhudi za kulainisha mfumo wa ushuru wa Kenya tayari zimeanza how do we reduce the cost of electricity we want to invest more so into renewable energy which is much more cheaper isn't it Borsha hii ya uchumi endelevu iliyowaleta pamoja wadau kuangazia miradi endelevu ambayo itaweza kupiga jeki uchumi wa nchi iliandaliwa na benki ya DTB. Linda Koskei K24 Samoja.